you just break the rules of the core? Uh-oh. Yo, I was about to be like, are we gonna fight her now? It's Romioka. Oh, that's right. He's the one we met before. We got a brief glimpse of that. Romioka's the one who introduced me to Uro Kodaki. Back when Nezuko was first turned into a demon. I had no idea what to do back then. And now, he's saving us again. I can't ever thank him enough. About to pass out, dude. Running your limits. My whole body is aching so much, I want to scream. But I have to keep going and endure it. Don't stop running. Keep on moving! You've got to run away! This forest! Oh, shit. Uh... uh. Tomioka, this is clearly against the rules. You're preventing me from slaying a demon. What are your intentions here? Don't you have anything to say for yourself? As I recall, it was two years ago. Are you about to go into a long-winded story from the past just to spite me? It's because of what I said to you earlier, is that it? <laughs> message! Message! <laughs> Angelo and Nezuko are to be taken into custody and brought back to headquarters. Uh. Angelo and the demon Nezuko are to be taken into custody and brought back to headquarters. Tanjiro with a scar on his forehead. Nezuko, a demon girl with a bamboo muzzle. Are you Nezuko? He does have a scar. All right, let's bring him in. Come on, let's get going. Everyone else is already starting to clear out. Who's that chick, dude? The chick like the younger sibling of the other one? The battle for this mountain is over. Demon Slayers win! about the uh was it the the elder sister again after five then that's a fucking boss mass chapter two we got so many memory fragments as well for a special mission so s is across the board but of course we get the a Shower meeting. New playable character unlocked. Muthra. Nagamuto, Muthra. Sick. What is this? Oh, acquired in chapter six. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So I have to come back and do these as well. Uh, that means we'll probably just do this one, and then we'll do the um, the memory fragments later after chapter six. Shower of eating. Holy shit, look at those guys. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this fucking uh, special mission real quick. The Mountain Dweller. Rewards tell of a demon deep in the mountains that attacks humans using its sharp claws and a combination of poisonous breath and spit. Take it out before any more incidents are harmed. Innocence. Um. Fuck is, who the fuck is that, dude? You know what I mean? Who? Hang in there! Makes it empty. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. What the fuck? That guy's random as hell. Holy shit. Okay, that was cool. I'll take it from here. Oh 
Oh shit. Standing there for 10 minutes. Nice. With the surge, we'll be refilled as well. Had a horrible nightmare. Can't remember what happened, but it was scary. Glad it was just a dream. Alright, we got an asteroid. Hey. Oh, why, dude? To the health, really? No way, dude. Well, any throws either, but like. Ugh. I guess the throw would have would have done it too. That's so fucked up, dude. Yep, you need to throw. Wow, dude. Actually insane. All right, gonna run down with fucking Zenetsu and an SK again. Time to work. That that fucking one guy is so weird. There's just that like a random ass dude. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we get more lore about that guy later but the guy's like a like, little random offbeat character that was like oh yeah he got Serious? Like the one time you're gonna fucking guard in the hyper mode more, like that's what you do. Oh my, I'm not gonna get asked this one either. Dude. So sad. Wow, dude. That should do it. The one time the guy just doesn't guard there, or fucking just got a fucking beat that time. I'm so mad. Also, the poison mechanic is really, really awful for this kind of like this shit as well, because because your rank is depending on your health, right? So so if you if you just lose a certain amount of health, so as soon as you get poison, you have to switch. Okay, you guys gonna do something about that? Yep, there you go. I feel like that combo should do a lot more damage, but it doesn't. That's a slow ass poison fog, too, that I really, really hate. I think it's gonna fall me further. Okay, it does run out of I hit behind him. I'm literally just getting hit because the guy's tracking me, dude. Oh, okay. oh, nice. I just got through him in that, in that stage. Nice. Yeah. Next time, call me Bob. All right, did I get it that time? No, why? This one's really weird. Okay, I didn't switch. Austin. Okay, so it's just better to fucking do the thing. Uh, not do not do ultimate arts, I think. Because you're you're never guaranteed to hit the ultimate art um, on these guys, because it's like they just have weird invincibility frames sometimes. So it's just better to always do the, the surge. Okay, so we surge and then make sure we switch. Grab all that good shit. We should have. Also, can't get hit by 
anything this guy does. Oh my lord. Can I wake up invincibly, Frank? It's really sad. He's okay. We actually fucking got him on that thing. I'm surprised that he's going right down there. One, two, and then one more. Nice. Okay, I know I said it was not guaranteed, but he was in the combo, so like there's no way around. He's not gonna die from saying Insane. Like look how little damage that does. That's an ultimate fucking form too. Oh. I'm ready to go. Borush! Boar rush. Okay, there's no way we don't get it there, right? Thank the Lord. Whew, what a fucking annoying one to get an asteroid. Like, like some of them are easier than others, I think, definitely. Like this one is just really there. random. Ah. Like very, very tight on the on the scoring, I think. But it's okay. We'll get it nonetheless. But it's not as annoying as, as like the spider one there. Oh, I'm good. Don't let you just do your thing, buddy. We get the full extended combo on this. Oh, there we go. Even though it doesn't do that much damage, we get it all. We get the throw off there because he went invincibility frames. He's gonna do three. No, okay. Somehow he does that shit with combo. Got Cole get the throw on the end there. It's like. That should do. Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna wait. We're just gonna, we're, we're just gonna search here too, because I don't want this run just to be fucking done just because of the insert. We're gonna get the, the thing. Nice. So. Alright, we got throws in, we got all that shit, we surge. And the S-Rank there it is. Easy clappers. Alright, cool. So we got S-Rank all the way down the line. Uh, we'll come back and, and do the um, the memory fragments when we unlock the, uh, like this one right here. Oh, sorry. I had to cough. But yeah, cool. That was chapter 5. And, uh, holy shit, dude. Nuts. On chapter 6, uh, Shira meeting. These, uh, these chapters are, I feel like they're actually getting longer as we go on as opposed to shorter because we're just getting like, like the power creep is insane actually maybe. Oh, awakening. Dondro survives the incident at Mount not, not a Gumo, but when his eyes open, he finds himself somewhere new. He yeah, got taken into, into custody. I'm sure that even after this, there are some who cannot accept Nezuko. Work towards changing their minds. Prove them wrong. Hey, you're awake. You passed out cold the second we moved you here. Everyone was worried because you weren't waking up. Figures I'd be the one who'd have to watch you. I always said you were pretty out of it, but... Well, I guess she was right. I see. What's wrong? My head just feels a little foggy. I can't really remember what happened. Oh, is that all? Is After that all? all that he's gonna act this way? 
How arrogant is this kid? My stomach hurt so bad the whole time. After the mission on Mount Natagumo. That's right, I... Hey, come on, get up. Are you gonna sleep the whole dang day? Just wake the hell up, will ya? <laughs> You're in the presence of the Hashira. I heard he was a demon slayer with a demon in tow. I was expecting someone with a bit more flair. But it's just some ordinary looking kid. We must see that this boy is put on trial to be judged. So it shall be. Hello? To think that he's been protecting his sister who was turned into a demon. What a brave and beautiful display of sibling love. What? Who are all these people? Don't open your mouth until you're told. Do you know who you're in the presence of? These are the Hashira. The Hashira? I have no idea what that is. Who are all these people? Where even am I? This is the Demon Slayer's headquarters. You are here because you, Tanjiro Kamado, are to be put on trial. Hello. Before we begin the trial, why don't you explain the crime you have been accused there of? There is no need for a trial. Protecting a demon is a clear violation. We can deal with this, this on our own. Nuts. We shall execute them both. In that case, I'll decapitate them with style. I'll show you the most dramatic spray of blood ever. It'll be a spectacle. No way! Love. You'd really kill a child as adorable as him? Such a thought fills my heart with sorrow. Alas, to see such a pitiful creature as this, I grieve for him. Perhaps it would have been better had he not been born at all. Those clouds, what do you call them when they're shaped like that? I can't remember. <laughs> this guy has no idea. Wait, where's Nezuko? Hey, the Hashira are speaking. What are you looking at? Your eyes should be over there. These are the nine highest-ranking swordsmen in the Demon Slayer Corps. Those are the Hashira? <laughs> hey! Nezuko! Where did you take her? Nezuko! Senitsu! Hinosuke! Murata! Never mind this, boy. What will we do with Tomioka? Seeing him standing there without any restraints is making me feel ill. Based on what <laughs> Kocho told us, he's just as guilty of breaking the Corps' rules. How should we make him take responsibility? What kind of lesson shall we teach him? Igoro, you're as sharp-tongued as ever, I see. I love that side of you. Hello. Without resisting, let's come up with a penalty later. What I'm more interested in is hearing this boy's story. He's in this situation because of me. Tanjiro Kamado, as a fellow demon slayer, for what purpose are you traveling with a demon? You can take your time, just answer the question. She's my. my young. <coughs> You look like you need some water. I can tell you've injured your jaw, so please drink slowly. I added an anesthetic to the water to help. 
Your wounds are still healing, so it would be best if you didn't push yourself. Are you ready to tell us your story now, Tanjiro? That demon is my little sister. My family was attacked by a demon while I was gone, and I lost them all. Except for her. She may be a demon, but she's never hurt anyone. She never has, and she never will. She'll never harm a human being no matter what! Enough. Spare us the absurd ramblings. Anyone would defend their family. Why should I believe a single word you say? Sorry, but I'm not buying it. Please, just listen to me! I became a swordsman in hopes of finding her a cure! It has been two whole years since Nezuko became a demon, and she hasn't ever eaten anyone! Your storytelling is lacking any vibrant sparks of color. She hasn't eaten anyone, and she never will. If you're gonna plead your case, at least make it interesting to listen to. Excuse me. Something about this concerns me. I find it hard to believe the Master would have been unaware of this situation. I don't think we should act without his permission. Maybe it's best if we wait until he arrives. My sister. Let my sister stay by my side. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. I know she can. So please. Well, well, well. What exactly do we have brewing over here? And who are here? you? Is that the moron who's been traveling with a demon? Oh, God. <sighs> Start talking. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Hello. <laughs> Go on. Say that again, kid. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. Isn't that what you said? You know what we call that? Being completely out of your mind, you idiot! <laughs> Hello? Holy <laughs> shit. Anyone who harms my sister answers to me! I don't give a damn if you're one of the Hashira! <laughs> Is that supposed to scare me? Cease this at once. The Master will be here at any moment. The Master of the Mansion has returned. Oh, we finally get to see who this Master person is? My beloved Hello. children, I thank you for coming here this day. <laughs> Good morning to you all. The weather is strikingly nice today. Perhaps with a blue sky. Finding ourselves here, at our semi-annual gathering, with all the same faces, it brings me joy. He looks wounded. No, sick maybe? Is he really their master? Also, fuck the wind guy. Holy shit. The master. The Hashira. Nezuko. Nezuko. Where's Nezuko? Huh? Your sister is right there. She's been asleep the whole time. Makes sense, given everything that's happened. I mean, she was stabbed, bro. Right. Okay. She okay? <sighs> you look like you're still a little groggy. Why don't you go for a walk and wake yourself up? We'll be safe here in the Butterfly Mansion. And I'm pretty tired of watching over you. I'll go tell everyone you're awake. If you see anyone around, make sure you greet them properly. Oh, okay. Thank you. S sure thing. Just feel better soon, okay? Where's the rest of the squad as well? Greeting. Okay. Looks like I've got everyone worried. Let's go. The Butterfly Mansion. Shinobu lives here. I was brought here to recover from the wounds I received in the line of duty. I should be the one to tell everyone what happened. Hmm. 
In this case, sure seemed down. I wonder what happened at Mount Nataguma. But I'm sure. I'm, 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 but I'm so happy. He's safe. Jesus. I'm so glad that Zanetsu's body went back to normal. <laughs> I already had the worst out of the three of us. That's nice, dude. I'm happy my man didn't turn into a spider. Did I not pick this up? Bugged? Oh, huh? there we go. Is that? I had to take it from a certain angle, I guess. Alright, time to go exploring in the butterfly mansion. If I'm some kind of strange guy, me walking around just upset people. Oh God! Huh? Look at the butterflies. So soothing, watching them flying, watching them flying gracefully through the air. I'm so glad you're awake. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry to be a burden. This place is for treating those who have been wounded in the line of duty. It's our job to take care of you. There is no need to apologize. Oh, well, thank you very much then. Though you are awake, your body may not yet be back to normal. You need to keep resting to ensure a full recovery. Understand? Yes, I'll do my best. Is this really the same boy who made such a fuss at the Hashira meeting? <laughs> Pick up some Kamitsu okay. points. Okay. We go this way, or do we have to go back inside? If we can, just go this way, I think. It's a memory frag as well. What's this? Goddess of Compassion? What is this? Some more okay. community points? Don't mind if I do. What's this? So you say I'll probably talk to these ones over here and then get the commutes points. Huh? Tanjiro's awake! It's just as the Kakashi said! I am so glad! Thank you. Sorry to worry you all. How are your wounds, Tanjiro? Oh, uh, they're okay. It doesn't hurt much anymore. I'm so glad to hear that! But that doesn't mean you can go and do anything strenuous. Yeah, Shinobu will get mad at you. Got it. I'll take it easy for a while. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so we'll go over here. It's more. Give me two points. Me two okay. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Got uh, one more thing of memory fragment to get. A blue exclamation mark. Huh? Is that? Bum bum. Huh? I don't recognize some of these flowers here. It's all in the mansion? Is it me? Oh, it's the lads! It's the fucking lads. Oh, Zenitsu, Inosuke! Oh, Tanjiro. You sure look like you're up and refreshed. What are you two doing here? What do you think? We're lying in the sun. There's nothing for us to do. And, well... Just look at Inosuke. I'm sorry for being so weak. Oh. Uh, oh. Anyways, 
You met the master, right? Oh, what was she 